Good morning, fellow resellers! First Saturday of the month, all Goodwill stores are 50% off, and I'm not going to Goodwill. I'm not going to Goodwill on half off day because lately I have been having pretty bad luck with shopping on half off day, so I'm going to take a break for this time, but I'm going to go hit some yard sales. So let's see what we find. Sometimes you just gotta stop after a whole lot of yard sales and everybody gets some Starbucks. Is it good? They still can never decide what they want at Starbucks, so I have to tell them what they want. <laughs> Enjoy. The sourcing gods have not been good to us today, so I bit the bullet. We're going to Goodwill. All right, so I didn't get a chance to record throughout the day but it's the end of the day. The sourcing gods were not with me today at all. I did get a few things, but nothing too great and terrible. But I'll at least show you what I got. I only got one item from one yard sale. It is a race scanner from Radio Shack. Still has the manual. Paid five bucks for it. Goes for about 50. I did pick up. I, I saw it. I didn't even think twice. Link hoodie. Yeah, I, I, I didn't even stop. I didn't think. I just saw it. I grabbed. What did I pay for this thing? Because I actually went to Goodwill. Didn't see much. Uh, I paid $2 for this. Um, this is something that's going to have to go to eBay because for some reason it's restricted on Amazon. Uh, live in Las Vegas, Jimmy Buffett. And then Fenway Park, Jimmy Buffett. I paid a buck a piece. Not a lot of profit there, but it'll sell. VHS Rewinder. I paid two bucks. They usually sell for about fifteen. And I did get a Jumpman hoodie. I think I probably paid two bucks for this. Yeah, I paid two bucks for this one as well. Didn't even look to see what it was going for. Usually don't have bad luck with the Jumpman. It was a size small, but I couldn't pass it up. Pierce the Veil. I have yet to have a Pierce the Veil shirt I have not sold. So, I, I, I it's not going to sell for a lot, but I couldn't pass up the fact of, yeah, it's going to sell. It'll sell. Usually sells pretty quick. I mean, I think the longest I ever had one, a Pierce the Veil shirt, was like two months. Um, I honestly don't even remember what these prices were. Fred Allen Wolf PhD Dr. Quantum CD uh, sells, if I remember correctly, it had a halfway high rank, but was somewhere around 30 plus on Amazon. And I couldn't find this one specifically on eBay or Amazon, but it's brand new. Casino Royale 007 sealed. Not even going to question it too much. Buck fifty. So, yeah. Not a lot of luck. But I at least wanted to call out. I was deliver I was, before I go to work, I stopped at the thrift store right next to work. I was doing my normal sourcing. I saw somebody looking at something I was going to. It's like, I'm polite. If I see something that I'm interested in and you're looking it up on eBay, I, I will, I'm not going to interrupt you. It's like, I'll let you do your thing. He was definitely struggling trying to figure out eBay because I saw he was looking at eBay. He couldn't figure out what he was doing. And I was like, here's your item. That's what it's going for. That's what it's selling for. He's like, how do you do that? You're Michael Stone. It's like, yes. It's like, I watch your videos! So, hi Rex. So, 
I stopped. I showed him some of the very quick basics of how to do eBay, looking it up on his phone. He says he mostly does Amazon FBA. If it helps, I actually have done a few videos on eBay, how to sell on eBay. Take a look. I know you said you're new to it. I, If I can find it, I will put it on my front page of my YouTube account for you so that you can find it a lot easier. Um, it's tough in the beginning. It will get easier, I promise. So, all right. That's all I got for you. I'm sorry, I don't have any more. But, all right, so don't forget, like, subscribe, have any comments or questions, leave them down below.